Greetings citizens of Australia. We, are, anonymous. Due to the recent light being shed on the Australian Welfare Centre link system, we thought that you, the citizen, would like to know the truth. The time has come to expose more corruption by the Australian government. The bureaucrat politicians are ripping you off in many ways, and now, we will expose more of the lies that they are feeding the people about their Centrelink welfare system. The Centrelink system is supposed to be there to assist genuine Australians who want to look for work. There are many people collecting Centrelink payments. There is one called New Start, also known as the Doll, and many other payments. The one which concerns Anonymous as well as most Australians is the pension, or, more specifically, the disability support pension. But first Anonymous will give you some basic background on how the Australian government is really doing things. The government in Australia is corrupt. So corrupt that they are openly running a Ponzi scheme, and they are getting away with it. A Ponzi scheme works like this. The government imports refugees in large numbers. They create the jobs so that ordinary citizens can build the houses to live in. Whilst people get older, the welfare system takes a bigger load and keeps on growing and growing, especially with new arriving refugees. Dick Smith said it best when he correctly described a Ponzi scheme to an individual on live television who thoroughly deserved to be put in his place. The growth that the country will go through, is, in the long term, not sustainable. To sustain such growth, taxes must be increased, and increased they will be, and quite frequently. So essentially, the current refugee policy will see Australia destitute very soon. The Ponzi scheme is only part of the larger problem. The main reason Australia will become destitute is because nothing is manufactured there, at all. The politicians have sold off the infrastructure, utilities, and almost everything else in order to pay large sums of money to other countries, as well as many other useless endeavors. If you are issued an infringement notice, you are not only paying the government, but a foreign corporation as well. New businesses cannot start up in Australia anymore, as Australia now imports almost everything, making competition impossible to compete with financially. Anonymous came into possession of information which is quite alarming, regarding the job network agencies which are set up to help people find work. The information we have tells us that these agencies post the employment opportunity listings that they have on the internet. It does not matter who the job agency is, they are all competing for the business so here comes the biggest bombshell which some people are aware of but a lot of them are not. Over 95% of employment opportunities listed on their websites, simply are not real. Do not believe the media if they tell you otherwise. The job listings are fabricated purely out of thin air, so that their numbers can look good for their government funding. This leads us to the bigger issue. There are hundreds of thousands of people looking for work at any given time, Australia-wide. Less than 2.8% of these people find any form of employment through a job network agency. Most employers in Australia do not want to advertise their vacant positions using job network agencies because to do so means that they will be flooded with literally thousands of job applications, even for the most menial of positions. To save time and money, employers resort to other means to find new employees. If you collect a Centrelink payment, and you're thinking that this does not affect you, then think again. The taxpayer funds all of this. The jobs simply are not there. Ask yourself how many jobs you have applied for, and have never received a response. The big businesses were all sold off to foreign companies, and the businesses took themselves and the jobs that they had overseas with them. And now, for the real kicker and this is where a lot of people are about to become very, very, pissed, off. The government controlled job network agencies are linked to the center link systems. The job agency can have your payments cancelled for any reason, and it is currently happening in large numbers. The government is openly forcing Centrelink to cut the disability support pension from citizens, and put them back onto the dollars one big cash grab, 
under the guise of the cracking down on welfare fraud lie which they keep telling over and over again. People who are quadriplegic, permanently disabled, or have terminal illnesses are now expected to work, or have their payments cancelled. The people who review these decisions in Centrelink are completely incompetent, and are acting on orders of the government to do as they are told, and ignore any medical evidence which is being provided to them. But why is this happening? The answer really is very simple. Somebody has to pay for the Islamic invasion that is currently happening in Australia, and the leftist government is making the people pay, and pay, pay again. And then pay some more. This is cultural Marxism and political corruptness gone completely mad. The government hates the people so much, that they are literally willing to kill you to suit their agendas, while standing in front of the corrupted lying media, and tell all of you how it is for your own good. The Australian welfare system is already overburdened to breaking point. Too many Islamic refugees are claiming payments, and Anonymous will now confirm that we have undeniable proof that Islamic refugees collect anywhere from 3 to a staggering 25 times more welfare payments than any Australian citizen. The standard doll payment is around $450 per fortnight, and the standard pension is around $700 per fortnight, and even that figure is still living below the poverty line. Anonymous will not drop a second bombshell and expose exactly how the Islamists get vastly more sums of money than ordinary Australians. Islamists have anywhere up to four wives, that is four extra parenting payments per family, but of course these people are lying their way into all of this in order to milk the system as much as possible. Then each wife has anywhere up to eight children. Even at $100 extra in the Centrelink payment per child, doing the math on this is absolutely mind-boggling, and shows how much the Australian government, really hates the people for knowing about it, and yet, doing nothing about it. There are a few politicians within the Australian government though who are speaking out about this, and most notably, Pauline Hanson is the main one. She seems to be one of very few who calls things as they are. Even though polygamous marriages in Australia are illegal, it is happening because the Islamic ideology does not care about any laws except its own, and the government is too scared of being labelled as racists, bigots, and many other things to actually do something about it. The leftist politicians call it tolerance and diversity, but in reality, it is bowing and pandering to the ideology of special privilege. These Islamists know that they can scam the system and get away with it, so they are openly doing it. In summary, the government knows what is going on. They have known for 30 years. Yes, that is correct, 30 years this has been happening. They have had plenty of time to correct this but are choosing not to. Why do they choose not to? Because they are enjoying the financial profits from it. These people in government are unbelievable. The people are starting to speak up now, because they are no longer fed up. They are pissed off. The best thing you can do as an Australian citizen is to either stop paying taxes, which would send the corrupt politicians a very clear message. If enough of you do this then they will have to meet the demands of the people. Anonymous knows that this is a long shot and probably won't happen because people are afraid of losing their freedom simply for speaking up, which will happen if people do not rise up in sufficient numbers. If enough people do not pay taxes, then those in power cannot punish you because there is too many of you and the world will hear it, which is the last thing they want. Aside from this you can wait until the next election, and vote for someone like Pauline Hanson as your Prime Minister. The left wing needs to be shut down. The evil and vile Greens party needs to be shut down. Most politicians need to be imprisoned for treason as most of them are guilty of it. Anonymous has the following message for the Australian people. Soon you will have no choice but to rise up and overthrow your corrupted dictators in Parliament House. The more Islam gains a foothold in your country, the closer you get to civil war. If you think this will not happen then just look at every single country that Islam has a presence in. Everywhere Islam goes, Islam destroys. Any faith that demands blind obedience like Islam does, 
and punishes apostasy by death, is not a religion, is not a faith, is not even an ideology. It is, by definition, tyranny. Islam claims to be peaceful. Ask yourselves this question. If Islam is so peaceful why is there no peace wherever Islam is, and name any other faith that beheads people for not converting to it? These are facts. The evidence is everywhere. Television, social media, the newspapers. Anonymous is not afraid to call a spade a spade. It is what it is. Please, people of Australia, heed this warning. War by stealth is already upon you. The physical civil war is coming. It will be the left wing versus the right wing. Terrorism is only the beginning. Choose your side carefully, because if you believe Nostradamus or the Christian Bible, the left will be dragged out into the streets, and ultimately, dealt with by you, the people. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.